One of the use cases for the FIM 110FF is to allow traditional control systems access to modern foundation field bus devices. Typically, traditional control systems do include support for the Modbus communication protocol. The Modbus mapping function is used to associate a process value of a foundation field bus device value with a Modbus register. The only software you need for the Modbus mapping is a standard Internet browser. Type the IP address of the linking device into the address field of the Internet browser and hit Return. Next, provide a valid username and the password. Before starting with the Modbus mapping, you should check if the Modbus function is enabled and all parameters are set to a valid value. Please consult the manual of your particular Modbus client and adjust the Modbus configuration accordingly. Click on the Change Settings button to apply the changes. The Modbus mapping in the FG110FF is flexible enough to accommodate most traditional control systems. The Modbus mapping table allows a user to associate the output or input value of an AI or an AO block with any traditional or extended Modbus register. Click on the button New Entry to add a new entry. Next, type the required Modbus register and associate the according process value, the out or in value of the function block, and click on the button Change Mapping to apply the configuration. After a reload of the page, you will see the new mapping entry. Another useful feature offered by the FG110FF is the monitor function. In order to take advantage of the feature we need to set up so-called point pages, start by clicking on New Point Page and then on the Edit button. Next, we give the point page a unique name. Here is how to configure a new point. Click on New Point and then on the button in the column Point. Here you can define the point name and click on the button Set Point Name. Use the column's name and description to add a meaningful name and a description. After you've finished the point page configuration, please click on Save Changes. After you have configured the point pages correctly, it is time to monitor the process values. Click on Monitor Point Pages and choose a saved point page name. After the selected point page has loaded, you can monitor the configured process values.